Hello, my name is JT Tepley. I'm with Elotech, and today I'm giving you a demonstration on Elotech's TWN3 RFID reader. Before I get started, I want to go over the table of contents of what I will be discussing today. First, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Elotech and our TWN3. Then I'm going to show you how to install the driver for the TWN3. We're going to look at the TWN config tool, which is used to change the configuration of your reader. And then finally, I'm going to give you our company contact information. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first of all, Elotech is a global company. We specialize in many areas such as electronic components, security solutions, card solutions, and I am in the RFID department. I'm located here at the headquarters in Munich, Germany, but you can see we have many offices throughout the world. So in the past, our legacy RFID reader has been the TWN3, and the family here is shown across the board. And we have TWN3s that are designed to read at low frequency, 125 kilohertz, and high frequency at 13.56 megahertz. In the low frequency category, we have a HID prox reader, an Indetag reader, a Multi-125 as we call it, and also a Cassie Rusco reader. And then moving on to the high frequency readers, we have a MyFair reader, and we also have a MyFair reader that is NFC enabled, and NFC stands for Near Field Communication, and it's a new upcoming global standard. So basically we have an option on the MyFair reader where it can read uh, NFC forum tags one through four. We have a multi-ISO reader, we also have a, a Legic reader, and it also has the NFC option, and then we also have a HID iClass reader. But now the newer, the latest product from Elotech is the TWN4, and it takes everything you saw on that previous slide and combines it into one dual frequency, NFC enabled, all in one reader, and that it can read all technologies all the time. So if you're a new customer, we recommend going with the TWN4 because it's a newer product with higher capabilities. But we understand there's certain circumstances where the TWN3 is best. Maybe you're an existing customer and you've worked with the TWN3 in the past and you're familiar with it and comfortable with the way it works. So that's why we still offer the TWN3 to our customers. Another product by Elotech is the TWN4 Tech Tracer Kit, which is a very handy tool uh, that's used if you have a card, and it, it's a card analyzer and development kit. So if you have a card where you don't know what type of technology it is, you can use this kit to identify the card and then it would let you know if you're interested in a TWN3, it would let you know which TWN3 you need to purchase. So if you want more information on the Tech Tracer kit, there's also a video on Elotech's YouTube channel with more in information on it. So I would suggest watching that video. But now let's get back to the TWN3 and I'm going to show you how to install the driver. Okay, so I'm using a MyFair TWN3 and I already have it plugged in and you can see my green light is on. This is because I already have the driver updated and installed, but you need to do the same before your green light will turn on, so let me show you how to do that. And to do so, you're going to need the development pack, which looks like this. If you don't already have it, you can get it from our website and it's in the download center, which is under the support tab. And then click on download center and then here are the dev packs. And I'll just scroll down and show you the one I'm using is this TWN3 MyFair uh, 439C. It's right there. Okay, so here's the driver folder, which we're going to need in a second. These are just some standard source codes. This is the technical manual. These are the firmware images for all of the TWN3s. And then this is the TWN config tool, which is used to change the configuration of your reader. And it will only uh, select the firmware files that apply directly to your version of the TWN3 but you'll see how that works in just a second. So you're gonna to need to open up your device manager to install the driver. And for me, because it comes defaultly in keyboard standard mode, it shows up right here under keyboards. But when you first plug it in, it should look something like this, where it has a caution sign there and it shows up under other devices. So what you would wanna do is right click on that. And I'll show you on mine, even though it's already updated. And you would click update driver software, browse my computer, Click Browse again, and then you want to find that dev pack wherever you have it saved. I have it saved on the desktop. Highlight the driver folder, click OK, and click Next. And now it says the driver software is up to date, and you are ready to go. Okay, so now I'm ready to use the TWN config tool to change the configuration of my reader. And that's right here at the bottom of the development pack. So before I get started with that, I just want to show you that, in fact, the reader is by default in keyboard standard mode. So here is a MyFair Classic card. And you'll notice once I scan this card, the UID or unique ID shows up in hexadecimal form. And just know that can easily be changed to hexadecimal or, I'm sorry, decimal or binary if necessary. 
Okay, so I just clicked connect and now my reader is connected to the tool and you can see the product type is TWN MyFair and the firmware version is 4.09 and here two images found and that's referring to the total number of firmware images that are available to be programmed for this reader. And right here it's telling me it's in keyboard emulation mode but I can easily change this to virtual COM port by checking that box or transparent virtual COM port where that's where you actually send commands to the reader. And anytime you make any changes, you want to click Write Config and Restart for those changes to take effect. But I'm just going to leave it in keyboard emulation mode for this video. Okay, so this tab deals specifically with keyboard emulation mode. And you can see here it's set up to deal with a US keyboard, the, the QWERTY keyboard by default. So if you're using a foreign keyboard, this is where you would want to change the keys around. Here is the key repeat rate, and this is the rate at which each digit of the UID or whatever is being sent from the reader and how fast each digit is being sent from the reader to the host. So I can choose to slow this down by selecting a larger value. I'm just going to select 200 for example and just show you real quick. I click right config and then restart and it will beep when it's ready to go. So now you'll notice when I scan this card again, each digit comes in a little bit slower so it just depends on your system preferences. So now I'll go back to the TWN config tool and connect my reader again. So now I'm connected back. This scripting tab here is for script files. And just know anytime you load a script file onto the reader, it needs to be a .twn.c file, otherwise it will not work. The next tab is RS-232, and these are settings for if it's an RS-232 interface. Here is the firmware tab, and like I mentioned before, there were two total firmware images available, and here they are. And just know if, in order for the tool to find the firmware image, it needs to be, the firmware file needs to be in the same folder with the TWN config tool, otherwise the tool will not be able to find the firmware file. So you can see we're currently using uh, version 4.09, but we're actually out of date. There's a 4.39, so let's go ahead and reprogram that. And I just double clicked and click yes, and you can do the same thing by um, highlighting it and just clicking program. And also you'll notice this time I don't have to go up and click right config and restart anytime you're programming a firmware file it'll automatically restart the reader for you so just going to take a couple more seconds there it goes it was successful so now let me connect the reader back and you should notice now that the version of the firmware here is now 4.39 instead of 409 the last tab is a preferences tab and finally the last thing I'm going to show you is this import and export which can be a handy tool up here so let's say you've maybe changed the mode of your reader, you've added some script files and updated the firmware, and you want to do this again for another reader, or multiple readers, but you don't want to have to go through each tab and do it step by step each time. So if you're happy with what you've done with your reader, just make sure you click right config and restart. And then if that's the settings you want on your reader, you can connect it back. And then you can use this export tool up here to export the configuration of that reader, and I'll just call it test. And I'm going to save it on my development pack and just know it needs to be a .twn.cfg file for configuration. If it's just CFG, it will not work. So now let's say I've plugged in a new reader now and I've connected it. And I can import those settings that I just made here by double clicking. And then I would just click right config and restart. And now that new reader would be set up the same way that you did with the old one. And this also works the same way if we send you a firmware file, you would uh, find the file and import it right config and restart and then your reader would be set up the way you want it. Okay that's about it for this video as always here is our company contact information. If you have any sales or customer support needs or would like to purchase a TWN3 please be sure to send an email to either the first or second email there depending on where you are in the world. The third email down is our technical support team. If you have any technical issues send them a message and they'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you look at the description below this video, you'll find a link to our download center where you can find the various development packs for all of our TWN3s. And also we have a link there for our data sheets to all the TWN3s. Once again, I'm JT Tepley with Eltech. Thanks for watching.